beauties. So a lot of you girls have been telling me or telling, asking me about my skin because apparently my skin looks a little bit better than before and it glows and all that. Even when I do makeup tutorials, like the beginning is like a lot better than it was before. And I just want to say thank you girls so much for um, telling me that because I think I don't really notice it so much, but I, then I was like, oh wow, my skin has definitely improved. And I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned across the way about it. And then finally I have time to actually sit down and make a video about it, okay? So um, the first thing is that I realize I have keratosis polarisis, which is KP. It affects about 50% of the population, so it's not like, you know, a huge big deal. Basically what it is is your skin cells produce a little bit more protein or keratin. So that kind of like it's stuck and your skin doesn't really shed as much or it produces more like chicken skin. So I have that like in the back of my arms and I get ingrown hairs if I like shave my legs. Um, and also it contributes to a lot of acne and some people think it is acne. Um, put pictures of keratosis polarisis right here. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Keep going, keep going. So um, basically what this means is that your skin is a little bit thicker or it has just like extra proteins on them than normal people. And a lot of times with acne, those the, that extra skin gets trapped with bacteria and oil, especially like me, super oily skin and it produces pimples. And for me, my skin is, um, for me, um, my acne is very, very deep into my skin. So it leaves scars when I get like a pimple or a breakout. And so um, I have like very, very deep adult, adult acne. Um, so like for example, I don't even know if you can tell because I have very, very, like I set up my lighting so my face looks airbrushed, but it doesn't look like this. It's all fake. Fake. They, like right here um, those are zits I've had like two months ago and you can still see like I'm covering up with makeup but it, I mean it's still there and it hasn't like faded and I'm super mad about it because it's gonna take a while for it to fade um, so how do you get rid of you know skin like that like how do you help your skin shed because benzoyl peroxide salicylic acid isn't gonna work so what I've been doing is I've really been focusing my efforts on chemical peels and the two I want to talk about are ones by a company called Perfect Image. And you guys know that I would never ever like talk about a product I didn't believe in. So I've tried these for a while now. Um, and you can get them from Amazon. I think that's the only place you can. I think you can order them online. And they're actually not too expensive um, compared to Skin Laboratory gel peels compared to any other acne products out there. I think they're really, really affordable. So the one I got, um, I got a lot of like glycolic. There's like a pineapple enzyme, TCA, lactic acid peels, just like different peels. This one is a lactic acid peel and it's 50% lactic acid. Um, and the thing I love about these peels is what I'll do is on a Sunday nights, usually Sunday nights, I make it a routine. Like I tell myself I have to do a peel every Sunday night. And by the second or third day, my skin begins to shed. So I get like dry patches. So if you have like in a special event or a hot date on the second, third night, don't like do a peel. Like do it, like time it so that way your skin doesn't look all flaky and peel. Like they're going to be like, what is up with your face? Um, so basically it's this thing right here. And what you do is it has a dropper. I'm not exactly sure how much you're supposed to use, but I just put it on my skin, let it sit for three to four minutes and wash it off. And it just kind of flakes my skin off, uh, which is not a bad thing. It just helps like remove the dead skin cells. But then by like that Thursday, Friday, my skin is glowing and it just looks so much better. And my skin is smooth. So my skin is really smooth right now. I mean, I have like a breakout right here, but otherwise it's pretty much smooth and flat. And so when I wear makeup, it covers it all up. So I really, really, really like this um, this product. I like these peels better than the Skin Laboratory gel peels. Um, sorry, I'm sorry. I know Skin Laboratories might not like it that I say that, but um, I like it better just because the packaging is a lot easier. They come in um, something like, like a dropper. I really like the dropper packaging. I like how it doesn't get all over the place. And the consistency is an actual gel. Do you see that? It's like thick consistency. So when you put it on your skin, you can like massage it in. Whereas the Skin Laboratory gel peels, it's more like a water. So it just like, it's just harder to use. And I like the smell of this better. It smells a little bit minty and just a little bit more professional spa like. You know, I feel like a spa would use this. The Skin Laboratory ones are more like something you would use like as a doctor's office versus a spa. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair back up front. I really like my shirt. It's like a Henley. It's like a, it's like a, 
Henley shirt. But I tried to like put this back. I could do a video like this. Do you, do you like this better? Or maybe I'll do it like this. Okay. Maybe I'll do it like this. Okay. So yeah. So, um, and then this one is the TCA 12% Skin Peel. I haven't tried this. I'm a little bit scared because I hear TCA is very, very strong. But I did hear one of my lovely subscribers starts with an L. It's like Lorena. Lorena, I'll put her username below. Super sweet. She messaged me about like, hey, I saw you struggling with acne and your large pores. Thanks, girl, for noticing my large holes in my nose. Um, uh, what you call it? Uh... Yeah, you should try TCA Skin Peel. So, I haven't tried it yet because I want to wait until I don't have anything important so I can try it in case it burns my face. Um, just an important person. So, it says formulated specifically to help reduce wrinkles, fine lines, acne, scars, and reverse the visible signs of aging. Well, that's great because I got wrinkles going on and acne going on. <laughs> um, Trico trichloric acetic acid TCA a powerful exfoliating aging works by removing the outer damage of layers of skin in the epidermal and dermal regions salicylic acid a beta hydroxy acid has been proven in by many studies to reduce acne by softening carotene the protein that holds skin together aha so carotene is what holds skin together and the like acid thing will like kind of slough that off which allows new skin to reform so that way all that bacteria isn't like trapped Help me up. It's not like trapped in there and therefore it won't produce a pimple. Um, works at unclogging the pores, also penetrating to the skin to kill the bacteria responsible for causing acne. Okay, great. Well, we know that that's what happens. And it's a two in one treatment. You know, it helps with your wrinkles and it helps with your acne. Helps with your wrinkles and acne. You guys know that when I'm 50, I'm gonna look like a freaking 20 year old, okay? Like, that is like what I'm gonna be. I'm gonna look like this forever. So, so really what TCA helps with is scars, fine lines, wrinkles, acne, oily skin, and even skin tone, dry skin, blackheads, and large pores, whiteheads, hyperpigmentation, rosacea, melasa, warts, and large pores, age toxins, cancer, eczema, seborrhosis, keratosis, hyperkeratosis, acenic keratosis, keratosis, polarisis. <gasps> Take a breath. Okay. Oh, it's not tested on animals. Interesting. I don't know, I just really like the packaging of the product. I know this, this thing is washing it out. It's just very professional looking. It has like all the directions, easy to read. The Skin Laboratory one didn't have all that, so it comes with an instruction booklet, which I took out here. But yeah, I'm gonna try the TCA one and let you know how I what I think about it. Um, I'm kind of scared, but I'm gonna try. Because um, I hear it produces frosting on the face. Frosting on the face, no, it's not like the frosting you eat. It's like actually like, it like, like white stuff goes on your face and that helps like peel the scabs off or something. And I'm a little bit scared of doing that because I don't want my face to like be ruined permanently, damaged permanently. So yeah, we'll try to see how that works. Um, yeah, but I'll put the link where you can buy it through Amazon. They're pretty, pretty inexpensive and that really has helped me and my skin. You can't, I don't think you can get these peels over the counter. You have to order them online, but amazing product and thank you so much perfect image for this thank you girls so much for watching definitely check out their products and let me know if you've used any chemical peels in the past also don't forget to enter my giveaway i'll put the link below sign up for my website yourperfectbeauty.com follow me on instagram twitter facebook pinterest i'll talk to you later bye